All right, guys, so we're going to run through the tiny gecko project. We got some still pictures here of the dwarfs that we actually hatched out, and then um, I have quite a few shots of some of the other stuff. We um, haven't really done too well as far as reproducing a healthy dwarf, and um, I definitely think we're going to abandon that anyway. But the real goal was mostly just to um, make some smaller geckos and healthy ones especially, so uh, I definitely think we have a, a major future as far as that goes. So um, as far as the dwarfs themselves, um, I don't think we're really going to attempt to make anymore, but I'm definitely going to stick with the healthy geckos that we have that just turned out smaller. But anyway, th this is the original dwarf right here. This is the female that produced some of the stuff that we have now. And then, like I said, we do have some females that we've held back um, since the beginning that were just smaller for various reasons. Some were just hatched towards the end of the season and everything. But this right here was the one dwarf that actually managed to get out of the egg on its own, and um, it didn't live for very long. It was super tiny. It was a really cool white and yellow radar, but um, it had some deformities, and, and that's most of the reason why we're not really sticking with this. Um, I didn't realize, it. after talking to many other breeders, uh, I do realize now that there's a, um, quite often a lot of deformities attached when, when you do have geckos with dwarfism. But this is the female that we hatched in the beginning. She's um she's looking pretty good, even though she did just lay an egg um yesterday or the day before. And this is one of the snow females that we held back that um was just small in general. As you can see, um she actually weighed in at 39 grams, and that's after laying a two gram egg. I'll show you guys a shot of that thing right here. It's definitely one of the smallest eggs she ever laid, but uh, it makes sense. Like I said, towards the end of the season, it is pretty common for any female to lay smaller eggs. This girl in the back right here is from the Paradox Project. She is just about a year old right now. Like I said, I don't have birth dates in front of me, but um, the dwarf girl is, is probably six months older than her, if not more. But anyway, you can just see there's a huge, huge size difference. And then this is a, a girl that's even younger right here, one of the Inferno girls. And um, all the Inferno stuff is much longer, just in general. But you can see the size difference much more with these two. Now initially we were hoping for a young male dwarf to hatch out. And um, like I said, after realizing that the the dwarfs don't really normally do too well, um, I'm even happier to hatch out just a super tiny male from the dwarf pairing. So we can continue this project, and like I said, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to avoid the dwarfs altogether and um, still shrink these guys down in a healthy way. I, I don't do anything differently feeding these guys. They're, they're all pretty much the same. Um, those little striped ones in the back are about three weeks younger than, than the one from the dwarf. And then that one right there is from the same pairing as them, but um, was born on the same day as that male that hatched out from the dwarf. Now all three of these are actually from a, a new pairing, but it is another one of the small females we held back. And it's to the same male that produced all, all these striped ones right here. And as you can tell, that, that thing is crazy tiny. It eats great. Um, I actually been hand feeding it just to make sure. And um, I, I mean, it was pooping and everything anyway, so I knew it was eating. But uh, whenever they're, they're tiny like this, I like to just give them a little extra attention in the beginning just, just to double check and make sure they're eating. But that thing is so cute. The other two, like I said, um, come from the same father. They just, um, like I said, there, there's just a natural uh, size difference in all these guys. But this is um, that same gecko up against two totally newborn geckos that actually just shed. They're, they're about three days old, I believe. And um, he's over two weeks old now. He or she. But just another really interesting gecko. It's got some pretty amazing color. And I'll show you right here, even after, um, like I said, this thing's just over two weeks old, we're still at two grams. And that's on a full belly too, because I did actually just feed him a couple worms. But just to flash back to that Max Snow female, I'll show you some of the, some of the ones that didn't really turn out super small. 
but um you can just tell that they're just smaller in general especially that girl this girl all the way to the right here um she just has a more rounded head um they, they seem to get much chunkier tails just a little bit shorter um as far as their legs and, and their body length but uh, that was a lot of the, the way we got some of the other smaller ones. Um, it seems like even the uh, the non-snows that come from that original female from Razor Sharp, they, they just come out small. I'll show you one of the males um, is in one of the next clips here. That's one of my uh, Inferno radar crosses, and he's about the same age as the one on the left. And he's about the same size as the one on the right, and they're definitely a couple weeks difference. Like I said, you can just see um the the bigger of the two snows kind of has a normal build, but um you can see how much more rounded the head is on the smaller one, and even with uh like I said the non snow offspring from her they still seem to come out with more of a uh, shorter stockier build. I do actually know their dates off the top of my head. He was ten two and she's from twelve three, so that's two months difference, and um he's basically the same length as her. Alright guys, we're going to wrap it up with this little group right here. Just a bunch of cool little white and yellows. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, we're pretty much going to give up on trying to reproduce a dwarf. But um, we're definitely not giving up on the tiny geckos.